today we'll do revision and we'll start with the first part here is okay so the first thing that we want to talk about is comparing fractions let's see how to compare fractions we have three cases and the first case the same denominator like 3 seventhes we need to convert this to 5 seventhes in this case when you have the same denominator the number in the in the top when it's bigger gives bigger so the bigger numerator gives bigger fraction okay since this is the number of uh, the number of parts and we have the same size for each part so here 5 seventhes is bigger so 3 seventhes is less than 5 seventhes and the second case if we have the same numerator okay let's move down a little bit and see here if we have two fifths and two elevenths oh in this case we have the same numerator and when we have the same numerator the bigger denominator gives smaller fraction so in this case two fifths is greater because the 11 here down in the denominator makes two eleventhes smaller fraction okay let's see another one and I'll ask this question one half and one fourth which is bigger which one is greater yes one half is greater than one fourth so here the answer is greater than no because here we have four down and remember when we have the same numerator the bigger denominator gives smaller fraction okay so if we want to summarize this we can say okay I'll say that if I have a fraction like this two-thirds and I'm comparing this fraction to another fraction with the same numerator like this two-fourths so in this case we have the same numerator so the smallest denominator gives greatest fraction the greatest denominator gives smaller fraction so here the 4 is greater than the 3 so it gives smaller fraction so this is bigger denominator it gives smaller fraction so this 4 here gives smaller fraction okay so two-thirds is greater okay and the third part in comparison of fractions 
is using models or using number lines let's see first number lines okay we have this number this number line and I want to draw another one the same like this okay this is zero one and here I have the half this is zero one fourth two fourth is three fourth is four fourth is okay so let's see here the question may be we need to compare one half and three fourths one half and three fourths in this case my heroes we just use these number lines and focus here we don't have the same denominator and also we don't have the same numerator we have different numerators and, de and denominators in this case where is one half this is one half on the number line and for the second number line I need three fourths okay so this is three fourths as you can see here one of them is to the right and one to the left not the same location if they have the same location they are equal but here they have different locations so the one which is to the right is this one when you have two fractions comparing them and they have different locations the one the one to the right to the right is bigger okay so here three fourths is bigger because it's to the right okay I write another question and I will ask you this question what about comparing okay one fourth and one half one half is greater so if we if we write if we see here we have the fourth is this one and the half is this one which one is to the right the half is to the right so the half is greater okay one more question Uh. Mm -hmm. which one is greater my heroes four fourths or the whole one yes this is equal as you can see on the number line here they have the same location excellent thank you my heroes okay so this is the number line we can use it and also we have uh, okay let's see this one oh, it's not clear just a second okay so we have also let's go here this is the worksheet that you have we have uh, something like this the models from these models we can see that uh, okay let's use different color here okay and we can see that three fourths here okay three fourths is the same as how many it is count them so three fourths equal to one two three four five six so six eighths okay we have many many notes here we can see more many things 
okay I'll raise this so we can focus more okay look we have here the whole one the whole one is equal to how many halves equal to two halves so we see here that the whole one is two halves and also the whole one is how many fourths the whole one is four fourths and also the whole one is how many eighths the whole one is eight eighths and we can find equivalent fractions so here we see that one half is equal to how many fourths if I use this one half so it's the, these two together so two fourths and three fourths is equal to six eighths we can find many uh, many equivalent fractions here using uh, the the uh, models these models okay so the last thing that we want to to talk about is the whole numbers and the fractions and this is very important part let's start with the one the whole one the whole one is one over one and also the whole one we said that it's two halves the whole one also is three thirds the whole one is nine ninths and so on So this is the whole one. Let's move to the two. The whole two. The whole two is two over one. The whole two is. I want to know what. How many halves? Okay. I I have here the whole two is two over one. So if I use it as one part, it's uh, as uh, one uh, one part. I, I have two okay if I'm dividing into two parts so how many parts do I need to make a whole two I need four okay how to find this simply the two is one plus one so you can add you can add two halves plus two halves this is one way you can also use multiplication to multiply this 2 by this 2 2 times 2 equals 4 okay let's see more questions the whole 2 is how many thirds I will turn on the mics okay 6 thirds excellent so how to find this 6 we multiply the 2 by the 3 we get 6 okay let me ask more questions 5 equals if I use denominator 1 what should I write in the top five. great excellent okay and the 5 if I use denominator 4 mm -hmm. excellent yes we will multiply the 5 by the 4 we get 20 fourth is, is equal to the whole 5 okay now my heroes I will move to uh, I will move to another point now so I will stop here and I'll see if you have any problems or any questions if you don't have please mute your mics if you don't have any problems or any questions do not use your mics okay my heroes if you have any problems please ask now about the fractions uh, where is question one three seventhes and five seventhes uh, five seventhes is greater because we, when we are using the same denominator the bigger uh, numerator in the top gives bigger fraction okay okay mm -hmm. 
Uh, which one here? Or you mean in the work uh, in the worksheet? Okay, I'll move to the worksheet. This is question number four. We need equivalent fraction to three sectors. So here we see that these are three sectors. So the equivalent fraction, we will use twelfths. Count them, they are six twelfths. Okay, my hero? Did you say my name? No, I'm not calling names. Meet your mic, kissing. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, because I, I want to... Ex <laughs> you should follow me, my hero. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Now we will move to the next part. Uh, the next part, uh, it's units. And we are you... Let's see the units that we are going to use. We are going to talk about time. And reading time. And the next thing will be liquid volume and after liquid volume we need to talk about the mass okay let's take these together I will start with the time at uh, the time here we are using the clock so oh I need to draw it quickly we have 12 in the top here and we have 6 down here to the right 3 and to the left 9 and I will continue the numbers complete them 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is not accurate but I want to just remind you about the shape and we have two hands let's say that the hand uh, the small one is here pointing here and the long one is here pointing to the 9 here so let's see how to read the time the time when the long one the long hand for the minutes is on 12 so it's 0 and each time it's 5 minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So here it's 45 minutes. So it's 45 minutes. And the hours, it's between two, between 3 and 4. So this is between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Oh, I'm writing. So, in this case, it's after three. So, in this case, we say that it's past three. Okay? And how to write it as digital, uh, as uh, in the digital form? We can do this simply by writing okay let's say that we are writing here and we have the hours 3 and the minutes 45 okay now I will draw another one and I want you this time to read it okay I will draw another one down here mm, oh I will not draw everything just 12 Six, three, nine, okay, and mm, let's make it, mm, oh, this is the ten, and make this one between two and three, okay, let's complete it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, This is the long hand 
and make the short hand uh, pointing here and what is the time now I want it as in the digital form okay use your mics okay I will ask first what is the minutes the minutes the the minutes 55 50 uh, no 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 the minutes here it's 50 wrong wrong my heroes it's 50 off mics off mics off everyone mics off so mute your mic so here the minutes it's 50 not 55 and now I have a problem for the hours what should I write here in hours use your mics just say it one time and mute your mic Mics off. Mics off. I said off. Mics off. Everyone, turn off your mic. Okay, so you say two and I heard someone said one. Who said one? Who? Again? Okay, Abdelaziz, why one? okay let's see if i extend it it's uh, uh, before two but just this bit it's almost yeah. two hmm. yeah. so it's one or two no, it's, one. it's one yes of course thank you my hero so my hero is because it's before two so it's before two i need it after what i i write here that the time, the time now, time now is after what? After one, not after two. It's after one o'clock. Okay, after one, not one o'clock, after one o'clock. And it will be after 10 minutes, it will be two o'clock. So we can say that this is 50 past 1 and also we can read it that we need 10 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, I forget here to write 15 minutes, this is 50 minutes, okay, 10 minutes, 2, 2 o'clock, so we can say, use it like this or like this, okay, now let's move to the next part which is liquid volume and mass let's go okay what is the li the liquid volume the liquid volume is for uh, things like water and liquids and we find this volume using liters and milliliters one liter equals 1000 milliliter and the liter is there the, that we, uh, we use to measure large amount, large or big amount of water. Uh, not very big, of course, you know that one liter is uh, like uh, the milk. When you buy a bottle of milk, you can buy uh, one liter and so on. And the milliliter is for very small very small uh, things like uh, eyedropper if I have an eyedropper to use it to make drops oh this is very very small its volume is very small so this is liquid volume and also we have the mass okay let's use orange also we have kilogram 
and gram so one kilogram is one thousand gram we use kilogram for big things not very big but uh, like uh, things like uh, fruit so we can make one kilogram of uh, apples and it may be five apples make one kilogram about five apples five apples makes one kilogram so this is the large one it's not very large but it's okay and the gram here we use it for small and very small things like ring if we want to find the mass of the ring or uh, the ring is this thing my heroes we, are, we wear it in our hands or uh, the pen the mass for the pen we can use grams uh, what about if we want to move from one to the other so I want to ask here three kilograms equals how many grams you can use your mics three kilograms equals three, three thousand excellent Hazen three thousand excellent so three kilograms equals three thousand grams okay okay one more question five liters equals how many milliliters H excellent yes Hassan five th yes Ibrahim five thousand milliliters what 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 are you saying <laughs> So, 5 liters equals 5,000 milliliters. Okay. And now, let's move to the next part. The next part is the parameter. What do we mean by parameter? Okay, let's say. Uh, if we have shape like mm, let's draw a shape here uh, let's make it more complicated okay so this is a shape any shape and we need to find its parameter what is its parameter we go around the shape I need to give you some numbers so let's say that we have here 10 10 mm, inches and this is also 10 10 10 uh, this is 10 10 okay this should be 10 10 10 so 30 because we have here this is 10 and this is another 10 here and this is gives another 10 here so 30 okay so anyways I give you these numbers and I want to find the parameter how to find the parameter here we go around the shape so I go around the shape start from any of these numbers and go around it I will start with the 30 and add 30 plus 10 equals 40 plus 10 for 50 plus 10 60 plus 10 70 plus 10 80 plus 10 90 plus 10 100 and do not repeat the 30 so we add the numbers so it's 30 plus 10 plus 10 how many things 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's too much to write, but it's okay. One, 
one, two, three, four, oh, this thing. Oh, now, okay, so the answer is, this is 30. And we use the same unit used here, it's inches. So 30 inches. This is the parameter, that's what we mean by the parameter, okay? And we have famous shapes like rectangle and square. Let's draw a rectangle here. And mm, let's draw a square here. Okay. Uh, give some numbers. This is five. Okay, three. Three centimeters. This is eight centimeters. And we need to find the parameter here. For the rectangle, this is rectangle and this one is square okay for the rectangle each two opposite sides are equal so you can say that it's 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3 or 8 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3 so this is correct and you can do it 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3 this is right also you can do it 8 times 2 plus 3 times 2 and all of these will give you the same answer let's find any of them the last one 8 times 2 is 16 3 times 2 is 6 so 16 plus 6 is 22 Okay, if you try to use it another way, 8 plus 3 is 11, and 8 plus 3 is another 11, so also 22. And use the same unit, centimeters. Okay, so this is for the rectangle. What about the square? The square is easier since all sides have the same length. So if I tell you that uh, this is, uh, mm, say, 12, 12 yards, so all of them, they are 12 yards. So we can do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, or simply we can do it by multiplying 12 times four. Since we are repeating the 12 four times, okay? So we can add these 12s and we can multiply by four. When you are multiplying by uh, two digits, Multiply the first, then multiply, then multiply the second. Okay, make it, this is 10 plus 2. Okay, 2 times 4 equals 8. And 10 times 4 equals 40. So it's 40 plus 8, so 48. Or simply you can add these to get 48 and use the same unit yards. Okay, let's see another example here. And let's make... Okay, let's make it square better. Okay, this is square and its side length is mm, 9, uh, 9 inches. So they are all nine inches, the same number. And in this case, how can we find the parameter? Mm -hmm. 36. 36. Wow, excellent. 36. Why 36? Nine times. Oh, no, 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 not 9 times 9. This is parameter, not area. So, 36 inches. Okay, what is the area? The area is inside. So, my heroes, the area is here inside. But the parameter, 
let's use another color here this is the parameter outside the numbers outside okay so the area is inside and the parameter is around the parameter is around the shape so the parameter is around the shape okay go around the shape okay now my heroes uh, if you have any questions I've finished so if you have any questions you can ask me now yes if you don't have any questions you can leave the session it's okay <laughs> see you tomorrow I hope you do well tomorrow inshallah goodbye my heroes goodbye